Hey YouTube, <laughs> so let's talk health. Huh? What does it take to be healthy? What do you have to do to live a healthy lifestyle? What makes you feel healthy? What is good for you? Is it the same that's good for other people? And uh, yeah, just kind of a general check-in of who I am, what I like to do, and maybe you do things similarly. Let's, let's connect, you and I, over a meal. I have no food here. So, <laughs> when I think of health, I think of the food and the activities. Basically, anything I put in and anything that I do that helps optimize my performance and how I feel. So, what gives me energy throughout the day and doesn't drag me down? I don't eat it and immediately have to take a nap. Um, what gives me the clearest thinking? What makes me the most productive? Like If, if I suck down a few gallons of Kool-Aid, then I've taken in a lot of sugar. I can't focus. I'm bouncing off the walls, right? Just for example. Uh, so I don't do that. When it comes to diet, I eat more animal products than you do. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not quite a carnivore diet. And it's not always keto. It's just mostly animal-based. Because I found that that is what works best for me. Um, I prefer to buy organic. I prefer to buy grass-fed. And I feel great. Since, since I went from a vegetarian diet to more of an, an animal-based diet, and I'll explain what vegetables I eat and whatnot, uh, like my skin is cleared up, my energy levels are better, my insomnia is gone. Like, all together. I, um, a lot of mental work goes into that, right? I mean, you got to work on yourself internally. But I don't have a problem falling asleep now. I, uh, I never get heartburn. Ever. I used to get heartburn all the time from, from things like bread and, and other carbohydrate-based foods. And I just I don't get heartburn anymore. For dessert, I like whole milk because it's... I consider that a high-carb food. Whole milk. Um, I think my favorite food right now... Ooh, that's tough. Something like rack of lamb. I love ribs. I have some pork ribs at home. And I'm well under my calories today. After eating very big meals. I've, I, I tend to eat in an eating window. I can't... I can, but I can't really do um, one meal a day. Like, oh mad, I could, I could teach myself that, but if anything, it's more work than it has to be. I, I'm not very good at spacing out my meal over one to three hours. <laughs> you know, just like eat over the course of that time, eat one meal a day. And that's not how everyone who does one meal a day works, but it doesn't really work for me. I prefer an eating window. So fast anywhere between 12 hours is my minimum. I, I like 12 hours off of eating. I feel great when I do that. Um, going more than 16, depending on how busy I've been starting the day, uh, not preferable. But once a week I'll do a 24-hour fast. And then, um, yeah, I, I guess usually around 12 hours is, is my fasting window. And it's fairly variable. Sometimes that starts at 3 p.m. And then, you know, add 12 hours to that, 3 a.m. So I wake up at 5 and maybe I don't eat till noon. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. I still get the number of calories I need. I still hit my macros. I still get all the micronutrients I need. And I feel it too. When I eat clean, I eat really good, high-quality meat. I eat vegetables that agree with me. Um, what I mean by that is like lately when I eat broccoli, I get nauseous. I, I Maybe it's bad broccoli. I mean, it, it's got like the deep greens and sometimes that purple top, you know what I'm talking about? Like the really, really good broccoli. And I'll eat that and I get, I get nauseous. Like, I don't know what it is. Um, I'll eat potatoes. Uh, maybe no more than a handful a week. Uh, carrots. Love carrots right now. I bake carrots all day. I really like mushrooms. 
Uh, onions. Raw onion is some of my favorite stuff. Like I, I keep that around. That's like my version of chips. Because that is what I was addicted to. When I was younger, right, I grew up in a very unhealthy way. Um, I weighed at my most, which was around age 20 or so. Uh, I weighed a little over 250 pounds. And it wasn't... It wasn't who I wanted to be. So I decided to change that. And I had no idea what I was doing. So I bounced around from from diet to diet. Not, not dieting to lose the weight, but trying to figure out what lifestyle would work for me. Because I knew I had this problem, and I had the internet. And the internet was like, hey, you can't just diet and lose weight. It's got to be a lifestyle change. So I don't know who I ran into where I heard that, but that's A-plus advice. Um, yeah, so I've, like, I've tried veganism, it didn't really work for me, um, uh, I did not give it a 500% effort, I will be completely honest with that, I don't like it, you wanna know why I don't like it? No eggs, I love eggs, eggs all day, <laughs> I like them boiled, fried, I've never had them raw, I, I'm, Sure, I'd probably like it, but I've never done that. Why, why wouldn't you just cook it? It takes less than five minutes. Cook your eggs. Come on, kids. Um, meat is my all-time favorite food, though my wife would say it's cheese. <laughs> uh, I enjoy dairy products, but I, I like to know that the cows are treated well. Um, the FDA does a pretty good job of making sure they are. and So I like to get good quality milk if I'm ever going to drink it. Whole milk is my dessert. I consider milk a high carb food. There's a lot of sugar in it. And so I drink it more sparingly than I would like to. I like milk. I like meat and cheese. Sorry any vegan fans. I respect your lifestyle. You, Hats off to you. Good for you. If that works for you, if you feel good, I don't think long term it's the right choice but if it works for you amen brother have a good life and sister whoever um so yeah mostly just if i'm considering a meal it's like what do i eat to be healthy i i put it through a two-part process like how processed is the food if it starts raw and i have to cook it at home great great I'll eat dirt I have to prepare at home. like, Because I know what went in it. <laughs> I don't eat dirt. Uh, but you get the idea, right? I, I don't want to buy something in a bag that I take home and I open and eat. Those are the chips from my youth. <laughs> I will eat potato chips all day. And you won't see me for a few weeks. No more videos. And I'll come back and I will be much, much larger. And I'll be holding up bags of Doritos. And I'll be like, hey, this is my favorite flavor. And it's like, that is my addiction. Crunchy carbohydrates. Whew. So, like I said earlier, raw onions. That's the good stuff. Um, and you can dip it. You can take raw onions make chips out of it. Make like a, a clam dip or something at home, by the way. Um, food. Did I mention broccoli sprouts? Love broccoli sprouts. Eat broccoli sprouts all day. Love that stuff. Especially since I heard of uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick's research with, um, with mice. And there's certain chemicals... Chemicals? Like, that's... that's there's certain parts of broccoli <laughs> that help with uh, anti-aging processes. And it, those those parts of broccoli are strongest in the sprouts. So I'm like, hey, let's uh, let's milk a few years out of these vegetables. Why not eat them? Uh, I don't feel bad when I eat them. I don't get heartburn. I, I don't break out. I have to watch alcohol intake. When I, I, I can have a beer with friends, though that gives me heartburn. Ooh. Uh, so I, I prefer liquor, but let's say I have a, a drink with some friends, right? A drink. And then the next night, oh, that was Friday, now it's Saturday, I'll have another drink. Like, we're, we're all at social gathering, I'll have another drink. Sunday I have zits. Two drinks, zits. 
I just break out. So, it's similar to the vegetable issue. When I'm eating lots of vegetables, like bell peppers, oh, so sad. I really like bell peppers. And I eat them, and my skin gets really dry. It starts to break out. It's like, what is this? What? What? Uh, I can eat cauliflower. Cauliflower is really good. Uh, my wife makes amazing dishes with it. Uh, we've we've experimented with different uh, keto recipes with cauliflower, making crusts and breads and pastas and all kinds of stuff. And uh, zucchini, same idea, right? You you make zoodles. We have a zoodle maker. Oh, fancy. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, to lose weight, I uh, right now I'm trying to excuse me. I'm trying to trim down a bit for the wedding because I'm carrying a little extra on me. And I I just eat in a calorie deficit. Stick to that. Make sure things are processed and, and as organic as possible. And are unprocessed. Did I say unprocessed? I'm sorry. I'm like, I need a nap. Um, so I make sure things are as unprocessed as possible. I make sure they're organic where I can. And... Um, yeah, just clean and unprocessed. That's the rule of thumb. And I stay under, usually it's around 2,000 calories if, uh, if I'm exercising that day. Uh, and we'll come to that in a second. But, um, on a day I'm not exercising. Let's say I stand at my desk all day. Standing, mind you. I don't like sitting. Sitting, like right now I'm very uncomfortable sitting. And I've only sat for uh, the timer says, uh, with the drive, about 45 minutes. I, just, I don't know, sitting is not for me. Um, I like to eat around 1,500 calories on those days that I'm less active. And that way I'm in a caloric deficit. Uh, for those days that I eat 2,000 calories or less, um, and keep in mind, no matter how many calories I eat, if I'm uncertain about proportions or or if I'm logging the right kind of food because I, I keep track. How are you going to lose weight and, and re-sculpt your body if you're not keeping track of what you're putting in, what you're putting out? It's a numbers game. Just pay attention. It, it takes 10 minutes out of your day. Come on. If you have a goal, set the goal, keep track of your progress, you'll reach the goal. It's not rocket appliances. So, uh... <laughs> All arrogance aside, um, to keep track of days that I'm uncertain, I I multiply my calorie intake by roughly 1.3. So I've logged everything, and then just pull up your calculator, 1.3 times what I've logged. Then you have a, a more accurate picture of, most likely, of what you've been eating. Uh, this is not medical advice, right? Don't copy me. I, I just torture myself sometimes I guess um, I find it works I'm not hungry because what I'm eating is very satisfying and very nutritious uh, I, I feel great and it keeps me from binging too much sometimes we eat too much and we're not very good at keeping track of what we eat if you're just eyeballing everything you're probably underestimating do the 1.3 um, exercise. So, exercise has saved my life. Exercise is my saving grace. All insecurity, all anxiety, all depression, all negative thinking patterns, anything emotional or mental, exercise fixes. It's It's so weird. It's like... A form of meditation to improve the body. To work out all of that energy through the body. And so for me, exercise is something that, that will not leave my life. Ever. I'm going to exercise until I die. I'm going to find a way. Like if I'm bedridden or something. And that happened about a year ago. Um, I don't know, about eight months ago. Excuse me. I went into surgery for two hernias and got those fixed got those patched up and before that I took a lot of time off from working out and I should say working out in a gym 
because I could go run during that time, but it's a little harder to sprint. You don't you don't feel so good when little bits of your guts are coming out. Like you don't want to sprint too much. You get I don't know. That's I don't know. Something about it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Made me feel really uncomfortable. So I just did jogging and body weight exercises in my apartment. And so it was really like taking six to eight months off of the gym. So coming back after surgery in August, uh, surgery was in June, and then in August I started working out again. Um, it was like resetting the clock on working out. But now I have the experience. Um, my form can always use work, but but I've got the, the form experience there, so I know what I'm doing at least somewhat. And a trainer has helped with that recently. Oh my gosh, I talked to a trainer and my squat went from B plus to A. A, it was like the weight on my back became a cloud after he helped me. It, 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 I'd been doing it wrong for so long. So uh, go get a trainer. <laughs> Even if it's just for like an hour session and they critique your form on a few lifts and until you get that down, it, it changed the way I lift. That was back in... Uh, November, a few months after starting lifting weights again. Um, so for any emotional and mental work that needs to be done, I highly, highly recommend resistance training. But do it right. Go go get some training for your training. Um, running is like the same thing. Running is another de-stressor. Running is amazing for your health. Uh, if you do it right, if you're landing wrong on your feet, you're sending a lot of stress into your joints. With every step, you're, you're destroying your ankles, knees, hips, your spine in some cases. You've, you've got to know how to run properly. Uh, no advice there. I don't know. Are there trainers for running? I, do you watch YouTube videos? Do you just like crash test it? Go out and run and no idea. If you're worried about that or if running's not for you, check out swimming. Maybe you don't like it because you can't like, breathe while you're doing cardio. That's me. I, that's exactly why I don't like swimming. I'm good at swimming. I like it, but I don't like doing it for cardio. Uh, then try backstroke. You know, I, uh, I highly recommend cardio for your mental health. Why are we talking about mental health? I just... That was originally why I got into it. I, I wrote a list down of things in my life that were dissatisfactory to me. I, I didn't like these things about my life. And I, I went down the list and went, okay, to fix this, I can do this. To fix this, I can do this. And I started doing those things. And one of the things I didn't like was that I was 250 pounds and depressed. So it's like, okay, let's fix it. I'm I'm 5'9 and a half, okay? I'm, I'm not a big guy. When I was 250 pounds, I was roughly 5'7". So you get an idea of my proportions, right? And so I want to change. Excuse any, any sensitive viewers. I, all the love in the world to you. I'm just going to use some words right now. I want to change that I'm fat and depressed, right? And so how I do that, eat right and exercise. And so running and lifting weights really help me get my mind straight. Help me work through... So many issues. Uh, I would highly recommend it. And then find the diet that works for you. I, I've got friends who eat more of a, a plant-based diet. And they feel great. I eat plant-based. I feel terrible. Uh, except for the ones I mentioned, right? And I, I think the standard American diet would, would look at... Uh, more of a carnivore diet and shudder. You're going to die at 40. I'm like, eh, not according to the stuff I've been reading. But we'll see. I, I'm going to do what makes me feel good. Arguably, eating candy makes you feel good. But I disagree with that too. When I eat sugar, I get an energy spike and then I crash. Sugar is like... <sighs> anathema to myself it, it's poison let's you know let's use a word that normal people use Luke 
Uh, <laughs> sugar is poison to me. I like honey. Honey can be good. Um, I put some maple syrup on some ribs I made the other day and then baked them. Kind of like a marinade, like a maple syrup marinade. But it was like a tablespoon. I mean, <laughs> I just can't do sugar. Uh, that's one of the sacrifices. If I want to be like Arnold. Ugh. So yeah, that's uh, that's my life. That's how I conduct myself for health. That's what I eat. That's what I do. And I would love to talk more about this, actually. I think I'm going to talk about exercise regimes a little bit more. I think I'm going to ask you what you do. Let's let's get some discussion going on about what works for you and how we can all improve. So thank you so much for sitting with me. Uh, thanks for listening. Have a great night. And if I may.